I'm Carly Cornell. And I'm Harvey Cornell and we are Dragon Phoenix Games. Today we want to introduce you to our cooperative adaptation of Tiny Epic Galaxies. Can you see it? Do I need to hold it up? It's kind of tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Harvey will tell you a little bit about the objectives. Okay, uh, well this game already has a solo mode in it, which is along the lines of what I would have done anyway. So what I've done is I've uh, expanded their solo mode, so it's going to feel a lot like the solo mode, but I've expanded it to handle a two-player cooperative mm -hmm. game. And in the solo mode, the objective is to beat an enemy galaxy to 21 points. Um, but what we've done is changed it to uh, our human team has to get 40 points before the enemy, two enemy galaxies. We're gonna have two enemy galaxies. And so we have to get 40 before the two enemy galaxies combine to 40. But we could also lose if either enemy galaxy advances its civilization up to the skull and crossbones on those tracks. Mm -hmm. uh, and also note that of the five uh, si uh, galaxy systems, each one has an enemy galaxy on the back and they vary in difficulty from easy up through epic. And so you can change the difficulty depending on which two enemy galaxies you choose to use. Now also, uh, the setup is slightly different to accommodate the cooperative format that we're playing. Um, the first thing is that uh, in the solo mode it says to play with a total of four systems out here available, because which is kind of standard, which is uh, one per player plus two extra, so that would be four. But we're playing with, uh, since we have four of us, the rules would say to play with six, but we're playing with eight systems available. Uh, partly because both of the enemies have four ships and we want enough places where they can put all of their ships out on different places. So there will be eight systems, and the other setup change is that each of the two enemy galaxies gets to start with two ships in orbit around uh, some systems and we just automatically choose the top left so the green one we place first they get the first two starting on the top left and then the red got the next two starting on the top left so that's the setup changes and now Carly's going to tell mm -hmm. you about a little bit about the gameplay changes yeah so the um, major changes are um, when we're rolling dice for the enemy um, they, if they can't, you, the solo play says if you can't use the dice, you re-roll it. Um, the, what that comes down to is that um, if they can't place a ship, we would re-roll once. If they can't uh, use either the um, economy or the diplomacy, uh, we would re-roll that. But the rest of these faces, they will use. So um, that's stated explicitly in, a, in the variation that Harvey has written. So um, uh, that's how the, the rolling goes. The, the first, you know, if they, if they roll one they can't use, we'd re-roll. Um, if they still can't use it, we're going to put it here on the converter. No, that changed. Yeah, Okay. that. It's not, not necessary. Not really necessary, no. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> but the bottom line is that we'll only re-roll once. If it's still unusable, it's unusable. Um, the other thing that uh, has changed is that when they roll, um, either the uh, diplomacy or the economy dice to move ships on the planets, either of those faces will move all of their ships. So, for that uh, enemy galaxy. For, for that particular enemy galaxy. So if green is rolls an economy, we're going to move all of the green ships. Um, so or that, on diplomacy, yeah. Yeah, and vice versa. Um, mm. And on ship movement, what? Placing ships is slightly different. I don't remember how. Okay. Um, <laughs> when an enemy is supposed to place a ship... Um, oh, that's right. She knows. Go ahead. Go ahead <laughs> I <finish>. remember now. <laughs> yeah. So in the in the co-op rules, it says place um, on the next avail on 
The solo the rules. Says. The solo rules roll. <laughs> the solo rules say, plays it from the top left to right. Um, we specify place on an empty one first. Um, only it's still top if, left to right, but yeah, the first empty. The first empty. Or at least not orbiting. It's okay if there's one yeah. on the planet. It doesn't count. The first one that doesn't have an orbiting ship. Right. But if it's there are no empty systems, then the first one that doesn't have one of their ships. So they're looking for something that has one of ours. So, but um, but even then, if the green is supposed to place, they will not place if the red, the other, the green being one enemy galaxy. If the other enemy galaxy has a ship in orbit, then the green will move on and will find one that has one of ours instead. Right. So that uh, oh. The other, only and then thing. there's one other change in that the rules don't uh, say this, so I guess it's normally allowed, but we're not allowing uh, the human players to advance their civilization up the civilization track more than once on a given turn. Um, yeah, the normal rules don't prohibit it, but we find it it distorts the game, so we can each only advance once on our turn. Okay. So it's a pretty short game. We're going to play the whole thing. We may edit out little bits of it um, if, if it gets a little dull in the middle. Um, <laughs> and then we'll uh, um, make this available. In the meantime, we want to thank Theo Clark for his support. Yeah, thanks, Theo. And um, let's play. So we always start with one of the enemy galaxies. So we'll start with the, the green galaxy. I, I, that's the official technical designation of this particular enemy. Um, and I'm going to try... Zendika is their name, but we, yeah, used to call, we, call, we it just call them green and red. <laughs> um, so I am going to uh, roll for green. Um, we roll these one die at a time. And I'm going to try really hard not to throw them on the floor. Okay, that gives us... She got diplomacy. Diplomacy. That's ship movement. So we don't even bother to look at whether it's diplomacy or economy. They just both move. Okay. Energy. So we're going to pull this up one. They don't start with any energy or culture. Uh, another. They're going to advance both advance of their the economy. Ships. So we're going to do ship movement again. Um, so again. It's called advanced colony. Advanced colonies again. They're about to take a whole mess of points. Oh boy. And again, that was a nice roll. Thanks very much. Okay, so he had a pretty good turn. He's about to take about 10 points on his next turn. So um, that's it for him. Okay, I guess then it's, it's going to be me and then red mm -hmm. and then back to you. Yeah. Okay, so I have the standard start of four dice. And like usual, the players get to roll all their dice at once. Okay, well, I definitely want to place a ship. Well, you know what? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with two energy, which is the standard configuration for human players. I'm going to spend my two energy to advance my civilization. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to use the place a ship action. And I think... Let's see, I got one economy symbol. I didn't get any of the other ones. I, but I really pointer. don't want yeah. but I really don't want them to get this five pointer or the seven pointer, but they're gonna get some of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the five. Maybe Carly can get to the seven yeah, before they do. I'm gonna put mine out here. Now unfortunately none of these symbols let me uh, advance on that unless I use the converter. So I'm going to take my one free reroll. And I did get one advancement on that track. Sweet. Now I could either place one ship and throw a die away, or I can use the converter and move again on that track. And mm. if I place here, then it'll only take two placements for it's possible right now for a red guy to get to the seven. I don't want the red guy to get this seven point one. So I think I'd rather make it to where if he gets to place both of these are going on the three. So I'm going to use mine on the converter and tr 
trade it in for a uh, diplomacy to advance again. Okay. So that's my turn. And now it's Red Guy's turn and he gets his five dice, one at a time. And he's going to place a ship, as sure I enough. feared. <laughs> he gets one culture. Another culture. Uh, advance all three of his ships on the colonies. And now he's going to attack. Okay, this is one of the things that we forgot to tell you about. When they roll uh, the use a civilization um, it's called die, the colony die, that's the one, yeah, um, they will attack. That's in that's the solo the rules. Um, but when we, in, in this game, when they attack, they attack both of us. And so then we look and see what he's going to do, and it says, you lose one energy and one culture. So awesome. I can only lose one culture, and she loses one I'm of each. I'm going to lose both, which that, bites. That's bad, because now and she's now only got one energy, mm -hmm. and unless she gets some more, she won't be able to advance her civilization. But yeah. that finishes the red player, and now it's over to Carly. Okay, I only get four dice. I'll try to... Roll them oh, on there's the some table. energy, so that would allow you to That's fix your some problem. Help. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start with that and take two energy, and then I'm going to give them back. Two of to, them. Two of them to uh, advance my civilization. Um, I do have a ship placement die, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. I want that seven pointer. Uh -huh. I, I don't want them to get it. Um, and then. These are only marginally useful to me. Well, I don't have, have any. I don't have, have any. Have no use at culture. all unless yeah. you do the yeah. converter. So you might as well take your reroll. Yeah. Same, same thing. Same exact dice. That was awesome. So I'm going to use the converter and yeah, I'm just going to advance this one. Alrighty. Okay. Now so on to the green galaxy the green. again. Yep. So the enemy moves. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, Attack. he attacks. We lose one energy. I don't have any awesome. to lose. We have found that it doesn't pay to keep a lot of energy or culture hanging around because they tend to suck it up. Ooh, okay, no, he gets, he gets to move his ships. He's going to move this one and this one and get both cards. So they now have 10 points. 10 points. Well, we both advanced our civilization, so Carly and I now have two points based on the point tracker for civilizations, but they just mm -hmm. earned ten yeah. points. And there's another seven-pointer, which he's probably going to want to take. Uh, you, you, okay, yeah. yeah. What did you roll? Now, I, just, I rolled a, a, a civilization, which he can't use, so I'm going to re-roll it. diplomacy? Diplomacy, whatever that is. He rolled it twice, so twice. he, he doesn't useless. get it. Energy, which he does get. And attack. Attack. Lose one energy. Nope, we don't have he any energy. He, he already sucked And remember, they energy. don't get to re-roll those. Nope. He attacked, it just was ineffective. There you go. Your turn. Okay, now since I advanced my civilization, I do get five dice. Uh, okay, my one ship over there is on a place that's got culture, so if I take the energy, I rolled some energies, but I would only get one. So it's not going to be easy for me to advance my civilization because each one of these will only give me one. Well, you, unless you place your ship on, well, I guess it doesn't now, matter. Now, yeah, I also yeah. got to place a ship. Sometimes there's one out there that says something about getting some energy. Mm -hmm. No, I don't see one. Isn't, Repeat isn't the action anything. on an already activated mm -hmm. die. Well, you know, I wanted diplomacy, and I got no diplomacies. Spend two diplomacy to... Oh, well, two diplomacy. You know what? Here's what I can do. You know, that only gave me one diplomacy, and I can't spend two diplomacy for two. Is there a way to get... No. Okay, that's not going to work. This is just really not great at all. 
think I'm going to be forced to reroll all my dice. Repeat the action on. I'm in, I think I'll keep my one of these. I'm not going to use anything yet, but I'm going to keep my one that will let me place a ship and just reroll the other four. Okay, I did get one diplomacy, which is something I was looking for. Couple economies. And then. I you know, don't... you could get ahead of that red ship if you were to go there with those economies. <sighs> yeah, if it was... I could. I don't know if that's useful to you. It's only three. Or. Oh, this seven is an economy. And energy. Yeah, that's probably what that's I should do. That's a good do. spot. Yeah, that's yeah. better. Okay, I think that's the right choice. So I'll put my ship in orbit there. And then I'll advance twice on that track. Doop, doop. And now this one's colony, which I have no colonies to activate. And I've already had my reroll. I don't have any energy left, so I don't get a reroll. There's really no way for me to use this, so I'm done. Mm, boo. Lose a die. <laughs> but now it's red player's turn. He's going to place a ship. Now he's going to start at the beginning and look for the first unoccupied ones, which is a one-pointer. Now he wants to place again, but he has no more ships to place, so he gets a reroll. Yeah. And he repeated it, so he loses the die because he still can't use it. Uh, oh, another, another ship placement. <laughs> Roll it again. Oh, now he got attack. Okay. So actually, he used this one and he used this one, and this one's lost. I'll put the, this will be lost. <coughs> so here's an attack where you lose an energy and a culture. Neither one of us have anything to lose, but he does not get to re-roll that. Now he gets culture. a culture. And advance all ships, which he's got four, so that's a big deal. Okay, he finished this one. We got a point for that. So they're now at 11 points. But they're done, and it's back to Carly. Okay. Now, Carly advanced, and we'll get five dice this time. I get five time. dice. Look at all those colonies. Good gracious of all the useless and, things. And two ship And two ship placements. Uh, now, you notice this one. You might save one of those just because this lets you repeat another action. So if you could get a diplomacy, that one could repeat it. Mm -hmm. Might be worth saving. Or this one's let you upgrade if you have a mix of stuff, mm -hmm. and you need three somethings. Right. But what you're you're on energy and energy. So yeah, if you can yeah. get another, oh, there. lots of energy. Energy, lots and lots of energy, and so you get two energy for each energy culture. dice. Sure. So I'll take. Um, I'm going to start with the two energy dice. That gives me four energies because I'm counting this ship. And this ship are both on energy sites. Oh, another rule we failed to explain. Uh, just like in the solo rules, the enemy galaxies do, do not ever follow any other player's actions, including each other. However, um, in the solo rules it says that the human player can follow the enemy players. What we're doing instead is we can't follow the enemy players, but we can follow, follow each, other. each other. So we can only mm -hmm. follow each other. We can't follow the enemy, and they can't follow at all. Mm -hmm. So, but I have no so culture, no. so I can't follow. But I was looking to see if I could, and that mm -hmm. reminded me to tell you that I could follow her if I had a culture, but I don't have one right now. And they love to steal them away. So every time we think, oh, I'll save culture and follow, and then they like to steal it, and we don't get to yeah. anyway. Seems like. So what I am doing is I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to use three energies and advance my civilization one. Which gave you a ship which immediately. Which gives me a ship, just like that. I'll still be rolling five dice until I advance again. Um, so now I have, uh, I have a need to get out there um, with some ships. Uh, what do we have? We have... Two threes and a two. Not real impressive. Oh, but this is an economy. That'd be nice. So I'm going to go ahead and place a ship here. 
Um, it's just a two-point card, but it ha it's on the economy track. So, so since she already has one in the diplomacy, it's kind of nice to have one on the other. Yeah. And I already rolled once. But you have an um, energy available. But I have an energy, so I'm going to spend an energy to get another re-roll. Because those are more yeah. or less useless. This one's good. That is... Advance one of your advance guys. one. There. Sit still. And, and then this is useless. And I don't have any more energy, so I'm going to lose this die, too. Okay. That's it. back. Um, we have played to a point where the enemies have 38 and we, we have 36. 36. And it's Carly's turn. Yes, and they're, they're well, the green player precious. can get two points if they advance this one twice. So they're going to win if they do that or if they uh, advance their civilization by getting two energy. So yeah. there's a really good chance they're going to win on green player's turn. So we really need to try to win on, on this my turn, turn of Carly's. This is it. So And she's um, got she got two that you're working on. Photo finish here. <laughs> um, I've got a five point card there and a seven point card there and either of them is enough to put us over 40. So um, There or just barely there. Uh, let's see. I need one, two, three on e or four, or on, four that one. on this one. Um, well, you could take the one, one here. Yeah, there's And no you can always get that. another one with the converter, so you just right. got to get just one, need more. one more. So I'm going to re roll. There's one. There's one there. Okay, that's that. And then the converter. And then Oh, just for fun, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take this one too, but <laughs> <laughs> the converter here says I can take this, and we get seven points. Forty three to thirty eight. <laughs> so, um, and I'll bet you. Here, I'm just gonna look and see. It, it, just just roll for for fun. Oh, he was gonna get an advancement off of that. Mm -hmm. And he was going to. That would do this. And he, was, and he would have gotten one energy. The energy wouldn't have been enough. Oh, but he would have acquired. Uh, Rogue acquires two culture on his attack. So he oh, would have gotten three more dice. That, and that would be three more. Let's see yeah. what he got on those three. Advance and again. They were going to win. And there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they just precious, barely did but, it. Woo, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> That's it. Um, that's how you play, and the rules are on our website at www.dragonphoenixgames.com. And um, once again, thanks Theo and Ashkai and everybody who supported us along the way. Thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, right. everybody. Bye bye. Bye.